today i just want to trim my hair my hair is long i don't want to cut that length i just want to add some layers and like be fresh so first of all we have to iron the hair no tangle so we need just a comb like a big one and a hairdressing scissor not the kitchen one before going through the haircut just if you haven't subscribed my channel yet go for it not to miss my next videos first of all divide your hair into pieces i just want to start with the length just like one inch important message try holding the scissor in a zigzag manner so they don't leave a mark on your hair and make sure you check and compare the left and right side many times to make sure they are even From the middle, we start with our bang or front and we cut the hair at a slanted angle, depending on the length of your hair. The longer the hair, the more slanted the angle. Cutting the hair around the face as you see in the front is the most important part of haircut because our guideline is the shortest part on your front. You have to cut this part in zero degree angle. But what is zero degree angle? It means that you have to cut them the closest distance to your face so the angle that your hair makes with your skin is zero. For a long layer style, it's better if the bang and the hair frame in the face aren't too short because it will lose its volume on the bottom of your length. However, if you really want to have short bang, you can first bring your bang to the chin length, then at the end just cut the bang by dividing a trap as a small part and having a short bang end of the procedure. Guys, just make sure to take left and right side in entire procedure to be even, as you can see in the video. now we go through layers the shortest part that you see here is our guideline that you have to follow this part is very important because sometimes you see your layers don't feel quite right and you're not very satisfied with your bang often the problem is that this part wasn't cut properly dear hairdressers Around the face has to be cut a 45 angle. If you want to make the layer shorter, then you can increase the angle. I've learned all these thanks to my experience as a hairdresser for the past 20 years. So I'm sharing a bit of my knowledge with you guys. And in my coming videos, I'll teach you how to cut short and long hair on my client. So I'll have more room to show every detail and explain it more. Since I prefer to have more layers, I'll take 90 angle after cutting 45, so you have to bring your hand a bit upper. So the rule is the higher bring your hand, the shorter layer you'll have. For the bang where you determine you will part the hair will obviously be the shortest part. In order to add more texture, bring the section that you chose up toward where you parted the hair. It means, for example, if your part is in the right side, take the section upward to the right. Section by section, you'll separate the hair and hold it upward and cut the remaining base on the guide. Then continue the same way for behind the head as well. At 
at the end try to take bigger sections and make sure they are even the big comb that i mentioned in the beginning of the video will be very useful to do so to avoid the scissor marks on your hair and the clear cut haircut Again, don't forget to check right and left side and the entire procedure. As far as you know, there are many ways to cut your hair at home and many videos available with easy ways. For example, one way is to bring all the hair to the front and based on the shortest part, cut straight the rest. But it's not a professional way to cut. If you want to cut as a real hairdresser, you should follow this video. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have ever cut your hair or not. See you soon.